Hi, welcome to Sam and my second wild camp in northern Cyprus. We're going to be camping today on the Kyrenia mountain range, about two thirds of the way up that mountain that you can see in the introduction. Um, very few suitable campsites. Uh, I think I've spotted a place, so we're going to go and do our research, check that um, we're going to be comfortable, and uh, off we go. I just spotted our campsite. I'm looking down into a into a valley, and there's a car park here near the tank. And, uh, we're gonna have an explore. We'll have an explore. Right, this looks like an old olive tree to me. I have no idea how old it is, but I mean, just look at the trunk. Split in two. Yeah, I'm just uh, taking a picture of this sign so I can translate it when I get home. Uh, the only bit I can understand is a 200 TL and picnic, which I suppose is universal. So we'll see whether it says no camping. So the day of mine and Sam's uh, wild camp up in the Kyrenia mountain range. Um, I went up there yesterday uh, to spy out a suitable site, which um, I think I've done. It's near a picnic area near the uh, Turkish tank that's uh, left up in the mountains as a monument um, from uh, the 1974 conflict that they had. Um, and there's a place here to park our cars. I don't know if you can see that. So we can park the car there. There's the tanks. Park the car there. And down here, there's like a wooded flat wooded copse area which is ideal uh, there's an ideal spot there to camp a tent to pitch a tent sorry camp a tent pitch a tent uh, nice and flat a lot of the other areas here they're all full of rocks and there's very little flat ground um, so this was the best that I could come up with um, so that's where we're going to be ending up the weather now Bearing in mind here, um, you know, we've, what we've got today, Saturday. Uh, this is for where we are at the moment, but we're only seven miles from the mountain anyway. It's saying that it's all dry today, fairly high winds, not nothing massive. And tomorrow we have rain late on, a thunderstorm really, going into Monday. But the problem is with the weather forecast here they're not really very accurate. So we could actually have rain during the night. It wouldn't surprise me. But as it looks now, everything's all clear. Uh, but next week, we have some great thunderstorms by the looks of things and lots of rain. Uh, I love storms. Um, yeah, but as I look over towards Turkey, I can see the cloud building. So... Um, yeah, as it is, we're fine to go, but we're going to have to keep an eye on the weather and be prepared in case it does rain. Anyway, let's get on. A little more prep for our wild camp. Um, going to have a little bit of a barbecue. Uh, well, no, kebab. Um, did my research yesterday uh, and you can't cook with fire, you can't have fires up in the mountains, uh, which is fair enough. I mean, this country is as dry as a bone in the summer. In the winter, it's okay. I don't think we'd have a problem. It was in a fire pit, but those are the rules, so we stick to the rules. So I'm going to do some mar marinated diced chicken and lamb. We'll have salad and rice and flatbreads, and it'll have to be done over gas in a pan. Um, which is fine, uh, but first of all, I've got to do a marinade uh, for the meat. Simple, simple marinade. 
Uh, we've got onions, uh, sesame oil, garlic, and paprika, uh, and one or two other things. Oh, tomato paste. I can't quite remember it. Oh, oh and some yogurt. Salt. Sumac. One great thing about here is the amount of spices that you can get. Lovely, double eight, and paprika. Or that one. Tatley Paul Beaver Paprika. There we go. Right, we also need yogurt. So the local yogurt. Go. All right, so we'll give this a mix and have a bit of a tidy. Right, so that's our marinade. Gonna have a tidy up now, and then we'll be mixing it with the lamb and chicken. Okay, so here we have our diced uh, lamb and diced chicken. We're gonna put the marinade in, give it a mix, put the lid on, and then put it back in the fridge and it'll be there for five, six hours marinating. And ready and tasty for when we get to camp. Okay, lid's on, shake. Oh. Right, that's going in the fridge now. Let that soak into the meat. Yeah, it's Sam and my uh, wish to, well, probably mine more than Sam's actually, to hike across the top of the Kyrenia mountain range and wild camp. And this camp is part of that process of gaining the skills and an understanding of what we need to do to complete this. Um, one of the biggest problems that I foresee um, is water. We might have to do water drops and pick it up as we go because even though we have water filters, I've seen very little evidence of running water up in the mountains. When you get on the top, it's quite flat. I think campsites are not going to be a problem because there's a road and track across the top and it and it's actually quite flat, although it doesn't look it. Um, but initially on the way up in, in the mountains, because it's so rocky it's and steep, it seems camp camping spots or spots to pitch a tent are really at a premium.
we've got the tent put up uh, and uh, the mattress is pumped up. Uh, there, Trekology Aleph Dual AT. Um, second time we used them, the first time they were fine. Our pillows are the really cheap 75p Tesco uh, blow up pillars, and that was fine for me last time as well. Um, I don't think it's going to get really cold tonight. We've got a couple of cheapy sleeping bags from uh, a Halfords kit that I bought a few years ago, and I, th I think we're going to be fine. Um, but yep, yeah, we're all set up now. Um, we can. Uh, have a drink, I think. I'm gonna get a cup of tea. Sam will have summer, I'm not sure, probably pop, and uh, we'll we'll bring you back later. What's for tea tonight? Mix kebab with what? Rice and salad. Oh, right. you, you're ruining it, aren't you? Why? It's leaked. Leaked where? <laughs> You've leaked it out, out of the side. Careful, because it'll be hot. Oh, well, see what I mean? You just put it on the floor. No, till it's, till it's no. What I'm trying to say is, it work. Right. Well, these things happen, son. Yeah, because you were like violently shh. Because of what's going on. There's a lot going on, isn't there? The schools have shut. Yeah, I know you're saying. But Neja are the only ones open. And Quite smells chocolatey. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really trying to be very cautious. I What's your feelings about COVID then? Mixed. I love it, but I also hate it. No, I mean, what are you concerned about getting it? Not really. You don't sound very communist to me. Well, it isn't equal. Well, that's what it used to be, Sam. That's what it was. It was about people, equality. It was about everybody being trapped fairly. The only thing was it never worked. Because all of someone was being trapped more fairly than somebody else. Well, the social credit system is rarely someone being trapped fairly. Basic, but... It does punish people, it doesn't punish anyone, but it's just, for example... Okay, we'll just, uh, the sun's just starting to go down here. I've just walked up to the top where the tank is and the tank tracks, just to have a look out and see if we can see any weather coming. Um, the wind's behind me actually, so the weather will be coming from the other way. But anyway, it's a lovely evening. A little bit of breeze. We're pretty much set up now. Um, gonna have a drink and maybe think about cooking some tea in a little while. Um, to be honest, I never go to bed late when I'm camping. Um, so we'll be in bed pretty early and awake pretty early. We wanna get off quite sharpish. Uh, Sunday's a hunting day in uh, Northern Cyprus and uh, yeah, it's best to be out of the way. Um, don't fancy getting shot. Uh, 
Uh, there's our little camp spot tucked out of the way. So the sun's gone down, it's quite cold now, um, which is to be expected. It's time for a Guinness in my, uh, in my new mug. Oops, crikey, that's a bit lively. I don't know if it's got one of them widget things in it, like that John Smith stuff. Not had a Guinness for years actually, so that'd be a treat. Uh, Sam got me it for my birthday. Ah, uh, not bad. Right, let's get this stove lit. <laughs> And our kebab on. Oh, come on. Here we go, there's loads of uh, meat that's been marinating, so we'll get that in the pan. Crikey, that's hot. Oh wow, I hope you're hungry, Sam. Guinness is going down well, eh hey, son? So we've got the flatbread, or the wrap, I have no idea what that is, Caplica, Koi, Yufkalari, well anyway, sorry? I oh, know. What does it mean then? Caplica is, um, is an old, um, old tradition of a woman in Turkey. She is known as one of the biggest flatbread providers in the whole of uh, Turkey. What, Caprica? Yeah. She Where did you do that at school? Yeah, school. It's learned in uh, Turkish history. How would you not know about Caprica? Caprica. Yeah. Right, so, when we have, uh, when we have wraps, we always ask for flatbreads. Wow, these are massive. Yeah, that's the whole Turkish tradition. They always make them very massive. Well, I don't think we need all of them. No, what they do is they, they put them on the plate together, like a buffet sort of. That's how turkey is. With the whole flat bread. Maybe have that in the morning. Wow. Right, so, yeah, we can use that. There's two wraps there, one for me. Sam can wrap out. Yeah, 
Yeah, whenever we go to the kebab house, I always like these wraps rather than the pitters, to be, to be fair. Right, I think this is just about ready. I'm going to squeeze some lemon on it. And then tear some parsley. the jubilee. They use parsley a hell of a lot here in Cyprus. I think all through the Mediterranean actually but it's, it's actually uh, mainly from the Rockland. It's in all the shops. No, it's probably because of the the Midi Middle East are um, well known for their herbs. Sure. Right, so yeah, I think that could do with a bit more parsley. Right, we're both pretty full up uh, after just one wrap. I think what we're going to do is uh, just stop filming now. Um, it's difficult to film anyway, and all you're doing is filming us eating and drinking. We're just going to turn the camera and the lights off and just chill and uh, have a drink, and then early night, really. Uh, if anything happens in the night, like we get visitors or uh, floods, uh, we'll we'll bring you back and let you know. Um, right, let's uh, get this light off and have a look at the stars, shall we? Mm. All around us last night was lightning, um, but we never. I mean, it's probably you know miles away. We never actually got any uh, a storm. Uh, which was good for us. Um, just doing some chocolate and me a tea. We're gonna get away pretty sharply this morning. Uh, and we'll cook our main breakfast at home. I've got some baklava uh, for us, which is um, pastry and cashew. Is it cashew? No, not cashew. Uh, pistachio nuts, I think. And it's like a, a bit of a a sweet treat here. It's really nice um, and it's made with a really fine pastry, uh, honey, um, pistachio uh, and uh, yeah I, I really like it. Uh, so we'll have a couple of small bits of that. They're about the size of a small sausage roll. I'll show you in a bit. Um, we'll have a couple of bits of that, have a drink and then we'll uh, get tidied away and get back to the car. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, hunting Sunday, and uh, I just don't fancy being around when they're when they're shooting. Um, yes, yeah, so we're we're gonna get on. I've got a lovely strong tea, black tea coming. I like black tea, and Sam's got one of these chocolates. That will. Hopefully give him a bit of sugar to get going. Here's a baklava. Um, yeah, really tasty. Uh, that should uh, give him the required sugar to have some energy.
Sam, here's your brekkie. Drink it with your head out the tent. We don't want to make a mess in there, eh? Okay, okay, okay. Right, chocolate okay. and baklava. Did you hear that fox in the night? I heard a lot of them. Did you hear the goats? Yes, I just heard one now. I didn't I didn't hear much other than the fox and the And the goats. So what did you hear? I heard I heard a car. I heard a... I heard a car early this morning, not during the night. Right, this is us about done. We didn't have a bad night's sleep. Uh, learnt a few lessons. I need a better sleeping bag. Uh, we maybe need two tents. Sam's getting on six foot, I'm 5'11. Felt a little claustrophobic, especially with their gear. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what we might do next time. We might have two tents. Um, yeah, generally it all, all went fine. A little uncomfortable, but we're sleeping out in the middle of nowhere. Um, we both slept fine. Um, if you like uh, what you're seeing and the stuff that we're producing, then please like and subscribe and let's see if we can get the channel to grow a little bit. We're having great fun doing these videos. Um, and if you're enjoying them too, then that's a great bonus. Um, it's a really good motivator for getting out and doing stuff, um, making these videos. Um, yeah, it's just a, an added push to, to get on with it. Anyway, look forward to seeing you on the next one. And um, that's it, we're off. Bye. This is a Turkish tank. If you require any further information, you're interested, I'll put some links in the description for further info.